keep Ryan in check as best you could through three quarters, and then four as she was able to score 16 points. Did you sense anything different or a change from her in that period of time? Yeah, yeah, she took she took advantage of the people we had in in, in the basketball game, which is uh, that's what savvy veterans do. Hard decision, easy decision, Don, to get those starters back in right at that point. I mean, uh, we want to win the game, and uh, they were turning us over. We were making bad decisions. Ryan was getting hot. Uh, uh, you, you don't want to. I don't. I didn't want to put them back in, but. You know, we got to do things to win the basketball game. And uh, the people that we had in weren't getting it done. How did you feel you guys fair tonight without obviously two of your key bench players? And how do you think you'll be with them again for the next game? I don't know. I don't, I, I, I'm not speculating. We don't have them. You know, other people stepped up. Uh, and got a good win here on the road. We. I don't even think about it. I'm not. <laughs> I just I compartmentalized. They're not here. Let's move forward with the people that we have. You know, I'm watching them. They both lost today. Hopefully, they can get another. You know, get a couple of more wins so they can get back here and and uh, get their teams into the World Cup. On the center, you all are frustrated, Brian, uh, for most of the game, and then she, she got hot in the fourth quarter. What did you see her change, and then you all had to adjust to that? Yeah. I mean, it's who we had in the game. Like, who we had in the game, they, they, they aren't, you know, who I would consider some of our better defenders. And, you know, Ryan senses that. You know, she, she saw our openings. Uh, you know, time and time again, we went under screens, and she shot the ball behind the screen. Is you know, if you want to play at this level, you, you, you have to pay attention to the details, especially with a player like Ryan who, you know, she got her team back to within seven and, and made it a game. I mean. I try to keep our, our, our reserves in as long as possible to see if they can make a push because, you know, any experience is good experience, but not at the expense of uh, costing us a game. Obviously, the, the rebounding was, was a difference for you, for you all. Uh, that created a lot, lot of chances. Uh, I guess how pleasing was that to you in terms of how you all shot and getting those extra opportunities? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's par for the course for us. I mean, this is, this is what we do. I mean, we miss a lot of shots, but we give, we give ourselves a really good chance of getting an offensive rebound, and um, um, we did that today. Um, obviously, if we play some, you know, Aaliyah and, and Victoria a little bit more, we probably got a couple more rebounds, but um, we felt like, felt like we built the lead to where we could get them some rest and give some other people some, you know, opportunity to, you know, playing the SEC role game. Somewhere along that same line, it seemed like the interior play offensively and defense was a big, was a big factor. Did you say that was a big factor? Yeah, I mean. Is, is that something you guys really work on in practice? Yeah, I mean, we got Aaliyah Boston. We got Victoria Saxton, who by far is an incredible, like, <laughs> incredible player. I think sometimes, uh, you know, she gets overshadowed a lot. But if, you, if you're a basketball enthusiast, she makes things happen. She makes big plays. She doesn't make very many mistakes. She rebounds the basketball, and she does it without complaint. So she, to me, is a star. She plays. She's a star um, in, in what we do um, with our program. And I'm seriously, we, we talk daily about what are we going to do without D next year. So I'm hoping she comes back. If uh, the WNBA doesn't scoop her up, <laughs> does any win on the road count as a good win? All of them. In our league? Yeah. All of them. Our league? All of them. I know we, we you know, we escaped with the, with the win here. And, you know, I know we, we, we built a big lead, but it's Kentucky. That's our rivalry. And we, we always seem to make it interesting. They always make it seem interesting. You use the word escape, meaning that it's very tough to play here. Yeah, it is. I mean, and us, you know, it doesn't matter what the rankings are or whatever. We always seem to, we always seem to find our way into a, a barn burner. Anything else for Coach? One more. Kentucky threw a lot of pressure defense at you guys in this game, which they hadn't done a ton of in league play. Just how did you feel your team, you know, did in that regard? Um, I mean, I, I thought we turned the ball over. I thought we made bad decisions. Um, I, I also thought that uh, uh, 
we didn't convert and transition. Like, I thought we were too casual uh, for, for what they were doing to us, for, pre for them pressuring us. Uh, we just have to make better decisions. I, I don't think they are. I'm not, I don't think we're asking our team to make you know, spectacular plays, just routine. If we can just keep it routine, simple bounce pass, a simple chest pass, you know, on target. I mean, stuff that we work on every single day. Um, if we had some of those opportunities back, you know, we can afford ourselves of what we did at that free throw line because it wasn't, it wasn't very good. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. Thanks, everyone.